Hello and welcome to my series on streaming in VR and today I'm going to be talking about Live. Live is a free application you can use to bring your Twitch chats right into VR. What I like about Live is that it's quick and easy to get set up and running. It looks great and it has some extra features like showing your viewer count right on the chat screen and heads up displays for alerts. If you like this tutorial, please hit the subscribe button below and without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, one of the first things I want to do is grab Live from the Steam store, get that installed. Once I have it installed, I just simply click the launch button and I launch Live. Now Live has several other components, but the one we're going to be focusing on today is the streamer kit. Right here you can toggle this to auto launch if you want it to, so that means each time that you launch Live, it will go ahead and launch the streamer kit. Now I'm going to minimize this and right here in the background I have my streamer kit. One of the first things you'll want to do is connect into Twitch and also into Streamlabs if you have it. So right here underneath services, Twitch, I would connect right here. You'll just enter in your credentials and the same thing with Streamlabs. I'm already connected so I don't need to do that step again. Right here on the left hand side are the various components of the streamer kit itself. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the chat. Now the chat is going to be the chat box that is going to come into VR with me. The first option here is to mute chat alerts. And what this means is that when you get alerts, it will actually send that alert to chat. I already have a bot that does that, so I have mine toggled off. Otherwise, I actually end up getting double alerts in my chat. The next option is to go ahead and enable this. So this, this means, yes, I want to bring my chat into VR with me. Right here is going to be the width and the height of my actual chat box. And then I have the scroll speed right here. Some additional things that you may be interested in toggling off and on are things like the viewer count. So on the window, you're gonna see in the lower part of the window, the active viewer count that you have within your chat. And you can also choose the format of your clock if you want it 24 hour or if you want it 12 hour. I'm gonna stick with the 12 hour AM PM because that's just the way that I'm used to seeing things. The next thing is going to be the position and the position we're actually going to talk about more when I hop into VR and show you how to get this set up. But a good takeaway here is that there are some presets that you can select that are going to make it quick and easy for you to get up and running. So basically you just choose one of these presets and you really don't have to mess with any of these other settings and you are off and running. Now, if you're interested in seeing alerts in real time right in front of you on VR, which I found has been really handy, and those would be things like if someone redeems a channel point, if you get a follow, generally things that you really want to interact with your audience on, these are great to see pop up right in front of your face. So you're not even pulling up your chat window and looking at it because you're going to get that alert right in front of you. So right here is where we have those settings for the alert. You can change the duration, how long you want it up. I think the default is three and I actually bump that up for six seconds because sometimes I'm distracted or I'm doing something in VR. So leaving that up a little bit longer works well for me. Uh, right here, you can choose whether or not you want to mute them or if you want to have them enabled. So if you want them enabled, you'll have to make sure to come in and click these to get them enabled. And then right here, you can even fine tune exactly what it is that you would like to see appear. Uh, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and mute the chat alerts because I don't want those appearing in my chat again. I want them to be right in front of me. And then right here, I can decide if I want to see it in the HUD, if I want to see it in my chat. And there's also an alerts tab that I will show when I jump into VR that you can also get those on. So if you wanna flip over to another tab and see all of the alerts that you've gotten in one place, if there's a lot of people that are busy talking in your chat, you can just pop over to that alerts chat and quickly see all of your alerts right there, which is great. 
The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have this connected. If it's not in the background, Liv uses something called the Open VR. So you want to make sure that you're connected to that if you're not. So you just simply press connect and that takes care of that. Once you click that, you'll notice it's actually starting and kicking off Steam in the background. You saw my screen flicker and that's because it is actually launching Steam VR in the background. Okay, now that that's been done, let's go ahead and jump into VR and take a look at how to run through some of these specific settings when it comes to the chat position and the different presets. Let's go. Okay, here I am inside of my Steam house and the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up my monitor so that I can interact with it right here and go through all of these settings. Now the first one, the first drop down box we have right here are the presets and there's quite a few presets that we can choose from. So the first one here is under left hand and whenever I choose a preset, I do need to click apply so that it applies it. And as you can see, it places my chat right here on my controller. So as I flip it around, I can now see the chat. This is the setting that I tend to use the most and that I actually find the most convenient. In a minute here, I'll go through how this can be resized because as you can see, it's pretty big right now. The other options I have are under right hand, which of course would be the same thing, but now it's on my right hand. And then I have an interesting one here called following head. Now, if I choose following head, you can see this will follow my head around as I move. So if you're a turner and you turn a lot in your play space, this might work well for you. Now for me personally, if I were gonna use this, I would probably put it a little bit higher so that it's not right in the way of my gameplay, but it really depends on what you're doing and what you're streaming, what is gonna work best for you. The next one here is pinning it to one of the walls. We have the left wall, right wall, and the back wall. So if I choose left wall and click apply, as I turn to my left, you can see that it placed it pretty much right above my left boundary. So you can have this set for the left wall, the right wall, or your back wall, once again, just depending on what it is that you like. And then finally, we have at our feet. Click apply, and if I look down, you can now see that my chat box has been placed at my feet. The downside to this one is that it does not follow you. So once again, if you're a turner and you turn around a lot in your play space, this is not going to move with you. Now with each one of these settings, there are a ton of different configurations that we can do. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and do basic fixed position under left hem. And right here, this is where I can modify that size setting. Once again, we need to click apply. And now to make it bigger or smaller, I'm just going to go up or down, bigger or smaller. I can also change how transparent it is by using the opacity setting. I can make it you know, more solid or I can make it more opaque. And this is just gonna come down to personal preference and what it is that I like. Now you can go as far as to modify the X, Y, and Z settings. So if I wanted to, I can move this to the left or the right, more, uh, you know, the Y axis this way or the Z axis up and down. So I can really fine tune this to what I want. I can mess with the pitch so I can roll it up or down. The yaw, oops, click on the yaw right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get this, it's being tricky. The yaw right here, and then the roll. So there are just a lot of different settings you can have to get it up exactly how you like it. And you can mess with these settings for each one of those that I went over. So whether it's gonna be the left wall, right wall, at your feet or following your head, you can use any of these settings to configure it. Um, the downside or the one thing that I, 
I do not like about this particular application. Now, as you can see, I have the chat pulled up. I have it set as I like it. For the mentions and the alerts tab, uh, there's no way to really interact with it. Unfortunately, the only way to do that is by hitting your Steam button on your controller, and then I can bring it up, and now I can toggle in between my mentions and alerts. So just depending on how you have your stream configured, what alerts that you're getting in, and what you find that you're using it the most for, that might be something that might be a little bit of an inconvenience for you. All right, that concludes this tutorial on Live. Thank you for joining me today. If you're interested in seeing more tutorials, please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're also interested in seeing how to bring in other applications or things like browser windows right into VR, check out my tutorial on OVR Toolkit. Put the link right up there and we'll see you next time.